everyone. Uh, this is going to be switching over to my stream. Uh, we're going to have multiple parts for today. Um, so, uh, we are now heading towards the Infimum Castle. I'm going to delete this Flaming Sphere because it lags the game. All right. Hello? Yeah, you just cut out. died. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so now we are heading to, to the Infimum Castle. Uh, according to uh, Cornell, uh, he wants to meet with you. Or sorry, he said, he said, uh, I'll be there soon. Uh, go to the. Info He'll be there soon. Yeah. All right. All right. So, are you, where are you guys going? And asking the guards, where the fuck is the castle? We're heading there. <laughs> They turn around, they point uh, towards the huge castle. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Infimum oh. Castle. Mm -hmm. uh, owned by the okay. family. Cornell said to go there. That's interesting. Yeah, I... Ooh. <sighs> May I ask why? Uh, maybe it's the only possible fortress we have around here. We, we don't exactly have walls around Naito. Fair. Oh. That might be a good place to defend. Interesting. Okay. Um, thank you. And you just kind of start to walk in that direction. Okay, follow. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. So we head here. Uh, Kel, you have any ideas on what might be here? You've been a soldier before. You might know any kind of plan of action or idea. Mm. Uh, well, we could maybe set some sort of, I don't know, barricade traps around the yeah. the, the walls. That's um, Ooh, idea. Depending on the um, landscape of the area, I might be able to have. I could be able to use um. Plant growth to just leave pit hole traps, and as they walk through the plants, I can just set them on fire if they have to walk work. through them in the first place. The main issue is their siege engines. If they have catapults and shit to just launch stuff at us, I can't really stop that. If we could all, if we could funnel them into one area, I think a cone of cold would knock out a That's majority fair, of. That's fair. This is. This is um, an entire army, so yes, I don't think... Yes, true. Though, it does have a big range, so honestly, if I can find some way yeah. to defend you... Oh, wait. Even if... And if they I, had siege things, just, could I be... Just had, if it, I just had a very them. interesting idea. Yeah. So if I'm a direwolf, I can... I can just bring you a good mm -hmm. 100 feet out there real quick. And then just directly in their face, depending on how far they are. It's an it entire army. Work. It's not going to get everyone, but if things work out, well, <laughs> it's interesting. It's a possibility. Yeah. Oh, boy. Gates of Infimum Castle. <laughs> right. Uh, he kind of looks back at the guards like, do we knock? I... Alright, um, they kind of frown. <laughs> The Infimum family moved to one of their other castles for now, so there's no one to hear to open the gate. Infimum? Yes. Did I hear Infimum? Hmm. Yes, you did. Mm. Varum just sort of just like slouches down, holding his hands to his head. Mm. You good? But Tell me, what castle? In Points over to castle. Yeah, you infernum or something like that, or infernum. I'm pointing with both of my hands, and then pointing the third mage hand over at the castle. Yeah, that one. Real quick, can I observe the castle? What kind of materials are the walls made out? Of? What kind of materials are the insides made out? Of? Any wooden materials? Well, we we haven't entered, so all you see is yeah. 
uh, well, well, bars. Can I see like wooden walls? Can I see like uh, banners? Anything like that? No, you can't see any of that from here. You guys are at the gate. There is a steel uh, arch door. Hmm. Baron well, just keeps his masks on and his hand on his fucking blade. If we are able to get to the very top, we can probably use the lever to bring food. Oh, I can just walk up there. I'll be fine. Are you sure? And then you suddenly... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just kind of look at him and smile. Yeah, I'll be fine. See, I yeah, watch snaps him. his fingers. It is now giant wolf spider. Kind just kind of climbs up there. And hey, crawl up, Arzer. Yeah, back and you he can do it, see? I am your capabilities. This is important. Need your finest poison. Okay. Dude, Hello? If he just look, if once he's at the top, he looks around for the lever. See if he can find it. If so, a rotational wheel <laughs> uh, with rope on it, which is how they open and close the door. You take it. You <laughs> a couple times. You you, you shape shift back, right? Wild shape back. Mm -hmm. right. You guys notice as the door slowly open. Are you opening it up all the way, or are you just enough for, for them to walk in? Um, just enough for them to walk through. And then do you close it? Or? All the way is a bit much. We want to close this once everyone's through and don't not have to worry about it. Alright. And then you slowly close it. Alright. There is a ladder going down to the courtyard uh, from the wall that you're standing on, Ocean. Alrighty, don't need a wild chip again to get back down. Okay. He kind of grabs one side of the ladder and just kind of... Slides. He... Yeah, he just kind of slides down. Alrighty. Baron is looking for any lichen or moss in the area. Moss? Oh, definitely. There's some moss, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a moss. Ocean. You know that thing you did with plants that made him grow? Yeah. Do that. And I'm just gonna put it, like, all over my armor. That's... Oh. Huh. Oh. I don't think that's how it works. Um... Yeah. Because they're kind of so, displacing moss on now. Moss, innately, you actually could have moss grow on your armor, but it wouldn't give you much defenses. Um, there's some kind of moss. There, there are a number defense. of different mosses that, also, um... Also, Barum, it's empty. They, they, he's, yeah. they said, they said uh, the Infamum family moved mm -hmm. to their other castle when the war started. Yeah. Arzo, you misinformed me. Hey, what would happen if you eat moss? Um, not uh, much. Depends on what kind of moss it is. Handful of moss. None of it's really poisonous. Don't eat it, though. Um, but there are some mosses that actually, like, innately want to smother flame. For instance, um, never. He, he walks towards Arzor and Varen, puts hands on the shoulder. Never take any kind of brown moss into the infernal plane. It will smother it all within a day. This is a very fucked thing. It can consume fire, and it keeps consuming fire. It is a weird fucking trick of the gods, and I don't understand why they made that happen. Well, but, if you got a grudge on an infernal demon, you know what to do, eh? I guess so, but that's... So, Whatever. Go right. to the fire plane, frozen yeah, in the in fire plane, yeah, goodbye. Yeah, yeah step on some brown moss, walk into the fire plane, everything's smothered. It's insane. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, okay. Well, um, yeah, I've heard about that. Arzu, do me a favor. Hmm. I need you to make your finest poison. Um, I want a leafage dosage to kill a horse. I see. The main, um, the main, uh, main, uh, what's it called? Main, uh, hallway. I okay, don't well, know I guess. Let's get going through. poison would do that. Hmm. It takes half a day. So, you you open the door, you're greeted by a very large hall um, containing drawers and cabinets and all these different hallways going to other places in the castle. Two question, DM. Is this the place? Uh, no. It's a different one. Okay. It's not the place. It is a place, but not the place. It is a place, not the place. All right. Yeah. 
Varim is going to proceed uh, look for mm-hmm. any uh, hidden doors. They usually have escape routes in castles. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's vision check as you look around. Uh, the guards mm-hmm. are just kind of like waiting around. How will Cornell get? That there? is eighteen. Eighteen I mice one. I legitimately no. cannot hear you guys when you talk over each other. Varum, you find uh, within this hall, you do find a uh, trap, uh, a trap door that's kind of blended in with the rock. Any safe That's rooms? convenient. <laughs> safe rooms. Sorry. Places for people to hide when the castle's uh, under sea. Blending in with the uh, cobble- cobblestone floor, I should say. Um, but so so you open so you open the trap door to mm-hmm. head to a, mm-hmm. a cellar, specifically. Okay. Head on down. See if it. Uh, what? There are barrels. There are spiders. Hmm. Ocean's oh. going to fucking <laughs> ritual cast. Speak with animals. Walking down there. Okay. I'm going to walk through here. If you bite me, you die. Just avoid me, please. I know you're smart enough. And then just keeps walking through here. <laughs> just looks at, takes a sniff near near the barrels, sees if they fucking smell of any kind of alcohol. Yeah, they're alcohol. Perfect. <laughs> okay, good. Tell me, ask them if there's been any signs of nobles in these halls for all of them gone. Um, so, so left hiding here, eating provisionary food. Uh, I guess he kind of leans down towards the spider vaguely and just... When was the last time you seen someone? A while ago? A while. Do you remember seeing any ever? A while. Huh. Okay. Hmm. The spider's lifespan, that's... Hmm. Not... Not, not ages ago. Not ages ago, but not... Too far away. Okay. Neat. Well, a while ago is what they say. You hear a thud mm. from uh, the, uh, the floor. Baron is just passing Ocean, through. maybe you like, could ask them why they, they went. Here. Probably, probably because they want to get as far away from war as possible. So, yeah, so, so you hear a thud coming from the floor of mm-hmm. uh, the hall. All right. Here All right. Come and get fucking. He's looking for the nearest staircase and walking up there. Let's. I think somebody is coming. Arzor, you kind of look up and down one of the staircases. Uh, you hear footsteps and running into the hall is Cornell. Uh, white, obviously his white, uh, long hair, uh, his red robe. Kind of looks around. Oh. Um. This is, uh, this is Nidal, correct? Um, yeah. Nidal, yes, correct. Great. This is. Meet me upstairs in five minutes. Uh, um, oh. His, uh, pulls out a map from his, uh, from his bag and continues forward in, uh, into the, uh, stairway on the right side of the hall. Right. I mean, okay. Also, Varim, you've got me interested on the idea of using the inside of your armor as a place to house plants. Like moss and various types of fungi that like to grow in the dark would actually be kind of at home there. Yeah, there's no light, exactly. Moss and fungi that grow in, like, zero to no light situations. (laughs) I only desire one thing, which is called camouflage. And the capability to sneak and be unrecognized by others. Hmm. Well, I'm not a ranger. Honestly, Chrysarin's a lot better at camouflaging people. But Yes, but looking like a green moxy suit will help. That? Hmm. That's a thought. That is a thought. Alright, I'll consider that. It's <laughs> a thought indeed. Yeah, alright. Um. Well, we have like four minutes to burn, so... Real quick, you two. He looks at the guards. I never caught your names. Uh, I'm Lotus. The other one go, uh, looks over. I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you two. My name is Orson Alaris. This is Verum. He looks at Arzor. This is Arzor. 
This is Cal. No. This is Robert. It's not them. Okay. Oh, no. Bony? Bony. He fucking puts his head in his hands. Okay. You know, you know what? I'm going to go along with it. This is, this is Bony. Sure. Bony? I said Oni, not Bony. Oni? <laughs> Bony. It's Bony okay. now. Oni? Sure. Whatever. I. Anyways. So. Yeah. Um. Uh, in terms of abilities, because you probably want to know those if you can think up anything that might be helpful. Uh, basic Fighter Man, Rogue, Arcane Trickster, they got a few spells. I'm a Druid. Uh, Robert here is an Artificer, so he's good at making things, and actually speaking of being good at making things, he might be able to help fortify the area. Um, yeah, he can make things, cast spells. Kel over here is... Uh... Barbarian. It always sounds rude to call them that, but it's just the classification of how their abilities work. Anyway, fucking whatever. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. I can smack people. He really smack. Hard. Yeah, he's good at smacking people. Yeah, you should um, fucking. Di no, no, I won't say that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, yeah. Just so you know. Um, I'm just gonna look at one of the guards and says, mm -hmm. "Tell me, have you ever heard of the?" Uh, Rakos Castle incident. What a tragedy. The what? Rakos Castle. Every night was murdered. Never heard of it. That's ominous. Have you ever heard of a name of Equus in front of I don't think so. I know about the Infamum family. Hmm. Yeah, well. Anyway, um, right yeah. about now. Sounds like the time that we should head up. Yeah. <sighs> Once. That has okay, given well. me two informations. Rakos wow. Castle. No one knows about it. Now and... has all over, like, mm -hmm. taking a bunch of chairs in this single table from the dining hall, put it in the right mm -hmm. in the middle of this uh, mm -hmm. room. <laughs> And it says, sit, sit. He takes out the map, rolls, okay, it, across, uh, rolls it across the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the best uh, interest we have is a deal. A deal? A deal. Okay. Oh, the field? Okay. A, That's fair. A deal with. Okay, a deal. Sorry. Military. Okay. And what will this deal consist of? Well, they want Nido. I think we should give them. Mm -hmm. I, I think we should give it to them. Hmm. I mean, the considering the current no loss of life, way. I the only issue can't say I disagree. The only issue we have is. They know we don't have people. I mean, mm -hmm. why not continue to pillage? And he looks around. Hmm. We need people to barricade the town. We need people to search the battlefields for any remainder of people. Um, he takes a uh, takes, uh, takes a sack. Takes a uh, throws it towards uh throws it towards mm -hmm. the ocean. You open it. It's diamonds. Specifically crushed. Hmm. Okay. Do you need to save anyone? There you go. If we had diamonds this many, we... Yeah, no, no. Don't worry. So she All right. Over. Find someone in the battlefield if they die. Uh, go ahead. If try to cast Got it. Spell. Um, um, look throughout the battlefield. You go with... Uh, Ocean, you go with uh, one other person. Uh, big barbaric guy. Big barbaric guy. Um, uh, Arzo Rivera, I'll need you to fortify Robert. Fortify the <laughs> castle as uh, I meet the <laughs> guards. We'll go make some political chat. Try to. The okay. name is not uh, there. It is only. Make a deal. Okay. Understood. Um, let's see. Else. Uh. Fuck, I don't think there would be any wildlife in the area could you communicate with to get any ideas. Actually, if there's anything left, they might have migrated. You can communicate with me. 
Real quick, real quick, DM, DM. Was there wooden floorboards in this castle? What? There are wooden floorboards Were there wooden? in this castle, yeah. All right. I'll DM you what I want to do. All right. Um, Mirsa. Yes. Uh, the Mirsa military is fierce. <laughs> and, uh, we assume the... Let me zoom into here. Actually, just map. Um... Probably, uh, we have a almost lack of military, so more people can find. Okay, question: Do you know how, what kind of magical energy they have? Like any kind of mages on for battle, any kind of war, war mages, magic at all? That shit's fucky. Well, it's I think about, probably the. Okay. Look, it's mainly the army of Kragos. Uh, us, trying to conquer uh, this mm -hmm. portion of Hasla. The Trigosi army isn't all too special, but being underpowered, having no little to no protection in our town, as you can see, there's no walls up, it provided us some disadvantages, as you can say. Yes. And I predicted it, but now that I have the message, uh, I think it's worth saving the rest of Hazlau for a piece of it. We need to build up a threatening the military to intimidate them enough, uh, at a point where they. Hey. Hey, I have a question. Yep. Why is everybody killing each other anyway? Why do so many have to people people have to die? What are people even fighting for? Well, land is very valuable when you have so little of it. As that was a very small state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, right, best right. case scenario possible, we end up getting a lot more of it in the end. Best, I mean, that's the ideal. Here, probably gonna lose some of it, but hey, it's worth it. All right. What's this castle called again? In Just Infernum. Hmm. What? Infamum Does it have any special names? Since castles are usually named. Nope, this one's called Infamum Castle. What? Original. General Castle? It is the Infamum Castle. That's the name of it. The Infamum Castle. Okay. Alright. All right. So okay, let's uh, yeah. In the oh, notes, that's for later. Varim and Arzor and Robert all go uh, kind of barricade. Um, how do you guys want to barricade? Also, I I also send you a DM of what well, I was doing. Oh, what materials yeah. do we have yeah, to so make a barricade? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ocean's going to tell them, as they do all that, fucking, if you can find moss or anything to help make barricades, plant that shit in there. Pro I promise it won't be dead. I can come back, I can cast plant growth, and it'll reinforce it. Give it a solid foundation, and it makes it stronger. And you're just heading out to the battlefield, see if you can find anybody. The sec is there a secret exit in the place, or does the secret exit in the uh, main foyer... Go to only the cellar. The one in the hall only goes to the cellar. That's the only one you found. I see. I'm going to block that off so that people don't escape there. Uh, by escape, I mean get in there. Uh, I'm going to uh, oh, also fuck, fuck, douse forgot. it in okay, alcohol um, for later. Yeah, yep. yeah, the alcohol. That. I have fire. That mixes very well. Um. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <sighs> also, uh, my DMs. Did I do that? Yes, you did. Cool, cool, cool. That's going to the notes, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm also. Uh... All right. Can you cover up the floorboard? Uh, or sorry, the cellar. How do you? So ours. Yes. Miram and Robert. You guys wanna? Uh. How do you want so, to what materials, there? besides moss, do we have to build a barricade? You have a lot of wood. 
uh, according to Cornell, there's some in a uh, in, in a shack uh, within the castle's bounds. So you have that. You can build some. Uh, let me build some of those. If you want. All right. All right. So Kel is gonna go out and start like chopping down tree. You know, yeah, trees that are nearby. We we already have planks, mm -hmm. so it's it's yeah. in terms of okay. material we have it. Yeah, you and he's just gonna have... like use trees as barricades, barriers, just flop a bunch of trees down. Okay, sounds good. So mm -hmm. I'll come back yeah. to Aram, Arzor, and Robert. I'm gonna go with Ocean and Kel here. Okay. As you slowly make your way to yeah. the battlefield. Mm -hmm. If Ocean finds any plant, or not any plant, but um, any kind of animal that he sees like scurrying about he's casting fucking animal not animal friendship but uh speak with animals and okay. seeing if he can find anything other than that right. he's having the dire wolf keep his ears out for any kind of uh the size or moans and pain that shit anything <laughs> all right so you get all further right. uh you get further to the battlefield you slide down the very small cliff uh maybe it's maybe 15 feet tall uh, into the no man's land. You walk a couple feet into uh, some burnt bushes. You go across some scorched land. Uh, you notice craters almost like meteorites in certain places. You turn around in a bush as you're kind of searching. Make an investigation check by the way, Ocean, for the as you're looking for people. Can I also do or is this maybe Cal can? Mm -hmm. Um, we both have a minus one to investigate to investigation. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I have a I have a zero. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have you have a zero. You're better off than me. Yeah. In that case, well, um, and in terms of the dire wolf, what is that in terms of the dire wolf, got a nine. So. Hmm. What did you want, Arzo? Um. Oh, what are they investigating? Sorry, what? What are they investigating? No, they're looking for bodies. And oh, could I also look? No, you're helping Robert and Verum with the bear, bear, uh, barricade. Oh, I thought I was with Ocean. Right. Okay, never also mind. Poison make. So <laughs> while so while we're doing this, you guys have to think up of uh, of a thing to make with wood to barricade to barricade the uh. Town slash castle off. Mm -hmm. So, Ocean, uh, make the check for the dire. Mm -hmm. The dire wolf. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let me recheck the dire wolf's perception. Let's see. His advantage on hearing and smell. So, it's the main thing with him. And let's see. He has a plus four to perception. So let me make those two rolls. Actually, it'll be easier to just do. Bang, bang, roll it. So let's see, the highest roll there was a 7 plus 4, so that's 11, which does not pan out well. Alright. You, you look around, you cross a bush, you turn to the right, and there is just a decomposing body. Most of the skin is burnt, and the, only the eyes are wide open. There's no eyelids. Uh, just two eyes staring upwards towards you and Ocean. Or sorry, yeah, Cal and Ocean. Cal, make a PDSD check, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> make one every time you see one. Two. Oh, no. two. All right. If you just, like, start breathing heavily, you continue walking, the direwolf kind of sniffing, hearing around. He, his ears kind of flick upwards and starts running maybe 10 feet forwards, turns around and you notice a guy kind of um, his leg is broken in half at uh, at the femur. Okay. Is it disconnected or is it? It's it's in half. His femur is in half. And he's like ah, ah, 
he's kind of breathing uh he- he's kind of not heavily but uh lightly as he 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 seems mm-hmm. to not have that much life left in him okay he's going to ocean's going to come over and hmm <laughs> for one he's going to use his um healer's kit first because we're going to encounter a lot of people and (laughs) just stabilizing them for the most part is the most important thing um so you tie uh, a bandage over the uh tie the the white bandage over the uh the femur kind of hold it still so there's a little blood coming blood flow coming from the femur um okay Kel? He's like, don't. Yes, thank you. Mm. Thank you. <sighs> of course, of course, of course. Um, Kel, I need you. Mm-hmm. If, if when we find someone, I need you to take them, and bring them back, um, to just a safe area. Lay them out on some ground that seems clear enough and safe enough for them. Okay. Then just okay. run back here, and that's the thing. The dire wolf can okay. hear stuff. It can smell stuff. That's the main thing. And I know that you're not having a fun time here. So you focus on guarding people, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. All right. Ocean's going to continue run, uh, walking. Animal shit for uh, explosives, perhaps? Good. Depends on what kind of shit, though. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, you know, you just doing things out is equivalent to me being Goblin Slayer. Extremely easily, you pick up the person, you run across the field. You place them down uh, on top of the cliff. They just kind of lay there, just kind of watching you two. Um, Ocean and the dire wolf slowly fade away, Kel, as you're trying to like catch up with them. And kind of a run out of okay. breath. And um, you're just like heavily breathing. You're kind of out of breath. You look around, and everywhere you look, there's like a single dead body. And you're just mm. breathing more and more. And you see in the distance this moving burling creature moving across the battlefield. <sighs> Make a PTSD check. Ah! <laughs> Four. Four. You've said that more than once today. You're kind of breathing. <laughs> Three you're times. Mm hmm. The ground is black. Uh, the body is just kind of wilting. Uh, your skin burnt to a crisp. Um, as well as some have just been stabbed right through the chest. Uh, some sores are still actually still lying through their chest. Um, I need that machine is still moving. You oh, what's not find ocean at all. Ocean? Uh, um, Kelly, hmm. Nowhere. I'm sorry, what? Kel just disappears from your sight. Maybe he's like somewhere or else. See, you just assume like he's fine. You know. Yeah, he'll be fine. Okay. Um, oh. Oh. I'm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Let's see if that appears on that. Hmm. Ocean's just going to be, like, as he's walking, whistling, and, like, saying, hello, any survivors, and just kind of trying to grab as many people as he can. Over over here, over here. Okay, he's fucking running towards that shit fast. Ben is running faster. Thank you. Okay, okay, alright. What you got going on with you? Okay, he's just going to make a quick medical assessment on him. What's he got wrong with him? Um, okay, so his armor has been taken off by maybe an enemy or something. Um, it's nowhere near him, so he didn't take it off. But there's huge gash wounds at his stomach, uh, going into his intestines. Um, and parts of his arm is actually, uh, parts of his arms are actually cut off near the veins. So he's pretty close to, uh, dropping off. Okay, okay. He, Ocean is immediately casting cure wounds on this bitch. Whatever health he had now, he now has ten more. Okay. He puts it, you're, you put your hands against the cuts, and you just cast the cure wounds. The blood's still gushing from his uh, stomach. 
onto your fingertips until they finally, until the wound slowly sh shuts off. You still have some blood on you. you kind of like uh, shake it off. Continue to the next person. Make an okay, yeah. Advantage. If you can. With advantage. Okay, one second. One second. One second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How? Whatever that thing yeah. is, it's getting closer. What do you want to do? Um, going to run and yeah, just call out running. Ocean's name, start screaming for Ocean. Just, uh, yeah. D do not want to be near that thing. All right, uh, Ocean, you hear his screams. Ocean. Ocean. Okay, I think he said BRB, so we'll wait for that. Kel, you're just kind of walking around as that thing slowly moves closer. You, you're uh, kind of running through the brushes, um, whatever is left of the trees um, and bushes. You're just... Everywhere. Hello, I am here. Another Hi. dead body. Every corner you turn, make another uh, check. Another four. Another four. You're still fine. Um, managed to power through whatever uh, you've seen in the past. Still kind of breathing heavily, though. You, it, it almost teleports closer. <sighs> now maybe only 50 feet away. <sighs> All right. Right. So, what do you want to do, Kel? Kel? As fast as possible okay, away back. from this thing. All right. Yeah. Can you hear Kel screams? Okay, he's bolting off in that direction. All right. Um, you you turn mm. left at a bush and mm. and Kel knock heads. Kel okay, you okay, bud? You need? Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! There's a there's yeah. a thing. It's big. I help. It's, it's, uh, it's... No, 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 buddy, buddy, buddy. It's coming. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill everyone. He's going to grab. Kel, it's okay. Okay, if it's gonna come for us, we can keep walking. Come walk with me. Come on. Ocean, you look Remember to breathe, you like can't. And there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, bud. Okay, if you are if you feel like you need to run, <coughs> slow down Guess and take back. a breath, okay? Back breathe again? It's, it's, it's gonna catch up. Back it's gonna again. get us. It's, it's right there. If you don't breathe, down. you're gonna run out of breath when you run, and then you... Will catch up, so you need to slow down your breathing. Make sure you okay. catch your breath. Okay. Okay. Go. You hear okay, there you go. Footsteps, Kel, coming towards you. Okay. Now, if you need to run, we can run. But, okay. so long as I'm here, I ain't letting nothing happen, okay? <laughs> All right, so Kel's gonna turn around and see where this where this thing is. It's still there, still moving closer <laughs> towards where you and Ocean are now on the ground, kind of prone, talking to each other. <laughs> quick question, quick question: Is that me? No. Okay, I'm gonna walk on over to the. Let's go. Try to look at what is the big stomping noise. Hmm. What? Okay. Um, Ocean, Kel's obviously freaked out about something that's there, hmm. but you see nothing. Okay. Hmm. Ocean is going to. Hmm. Is this him? Okay. 
Ocean's going to take some dirt, like a clump of mud, and he's going to throw it in that direction. And just try to lance whatever might be there straight in the chest. Right. Following his line of sight. Falls down. Calvi. So it. It just falls. So it, it hits. It it just it, it hits something and then falls, or does it? It, it hits, hits nothing. Okay. Uh, it's still for <laughs> pretty far away for Cal, anyways. Cal <laughs> gets closer. <laughs> and to the point where. You finally see its face. Its entire body is metal. Um, these uh, seems to have spikes broken through multiple parts of its armor. Two ludicrous green eyes blur from its uh, its head that's kind of hunched over. It slowly moves. And as it gets closer, you notice those aren't spikes, those are swords. And as it gets maybe 30 feet away, you see... You see on those swords are bodies. Kind of kebabbed on there. <sighs> pieces of shields, pieces of um, pieces of armor, pieces of flags tied to humans, tied to any sort of creature that's kind of stabbed into the sword that's kind of connected onto him. <sighs> when this gets closer. And it faces away from you, uh, maybe 15 feet away. And you are just, make, make a PTSD check real quick, as you see all these dead bodies kebobbed onto this guy. Another four. Another four. Man, is iron willed. <laughs> yeah. He turns over, bends, and one of the bodies you saw before gets hurled over his back with his hand. <laughs> And stabs it onto a spike or a, a sword. All these dead people kind of. And you, the uh, body actually seems to be alive. You notice the blood kind of flowing from the mouth suddenly. As it slowly dies off, it kind of turns towards you. Oh, you're, you are like freaked out at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. Ocean, you don't see what it is, but Cal is like. You just killed the one. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, it turns around, looks it's directly at the top, and seven <laughs> specters emerge, hovering around <laughs> uh, this creature, this metal creature, all speaking um, at the same time. Kev. We will come for you. Do not be afraid. This is a second life. They all kind of form back into the metal creature, staring down. Kel, make another PG creature. Jesus fucking Christ. You, well, there's two things uh, that will affect this PTSD here, so. Mm -hmm. This is a two. Two, alright. Alright. Kel, what do you do? Um, I mean, he's, he's like, terrified out of his mind right now. Mm -hmm. Um. PTSD? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically triggered, like, with yeah, without rolling a one. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's fine. Happens anyway. All right. Well. Okay. Um. <laughs> I guess you go into a rage. Mm -hmm. Ocean. You look over. You notice his veins start popping and start pumping blood at a rapid rate. As you're like sitting next to him, you feel the pulse slowly speed up. 
you see um, you see this face start like uh, getting uh, stressed all of a sudden. His eyes <laughs> change to red. Fuck. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Kelly, you look over. Ocean is now bleeding from his mouth. And blood is slowly clogging up his mouth as it slowly drips off. The cadaver, uh, sorry, the uh, creature moves over towards uh, Ocean's body. And you're just like screaming no as he grabs Ocean's foot, whips him up, stabs him into the sword. <clears throat> what does Kel do in the rage? He attacks the creature, of course. Uh, you just start stabbing um, and right before you do uh, make, make actually make an attack go ahead and make an attack why not uh, remember you have rage so you want to go reckless um I think I will All right, go ahead and make with advantage oh no Okay, there's a 24 and a 17. Okay. So, so does a 24 hit? Does the 24 hit? Let's find out. Maybe it might, it might not. I'm going to be honest here. I'm not 100% sure. Let me check. Um, you take the sword uh, and you rip it right into the center of his chest and it does hit okay um and as you do so you're just kind of panting um and in the middle of the sword between the sword and the creature this specter appears but this time in the form of ocean uh both of his eyes are completely white looks down at you you will never stop us as the rest of the specters appear as well around it and they slowly form back into the uh creature and it disappears uh how much damage by the way Kel? 16. ocean you take 16 damage you start panting and in front of you is ocean and you have your sword like halfway through his stomach Mm. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Not the first time. No. Cal, Cal, just stand, just stand right there, okay, bud? Just stand right there. Someone should have Take a sorry. breath. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Look at me. Look at me. Now, wounds have to be paid back. So close your eyes. He does Real so. quick. All right. Ocean takes a strike to your face, and it is nothing. You do not feel anything. It is the lightest shit. And it's like, it's not like it's a slap, it's a fist. It's pressed into your cheek right now. And that's it. He kind of he kind of looks okay. at you, kind of shakes his hand once. We're good. Kind of uh, looks down. Oh, fuck. Okay. He he grabs he grabs a use of his healer kit. Kind of takes the gauze, wraps it around his stomach. All right. This is well. This will stop bleeding. That's the most important thing. Okay. Let's keep going. <sighs> now every time Kel, you look into the horizon, you see the figure mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. to you, almost. Ocean is actually going to pull out. Ocean is going to pull out his lyre, and he's going to focus on playing it as we walk. Right. And he's going to try to like use that to ground Kel if he can. Direwolf. Direwolf check. Direwolf check. Me? Okay. Uh, let's see, he has a plus four. Let's do this. Roll. That 
is... Let's see. So his highest roll is an 11, so that's a 15. Okay. Um, it finds two more people that are pretty wounded. Okay. Uh, he's going to look over at both of them and see what kind of help they need currently. Um, one has a broken arm. Uh, pretty good condition in terms of health, though. It's just the single arm. That's okay. Broken. Okay. The other one, neck. Mm. Um, you see, okay, so you, okay. You turn around, you hear a whimpering, and then mm -hmm. you hear the whimpering stop. And you see, um, as you turn the, as you turn the bush, you see, mm -hmm. uh, a, a soldier with a cut neck and a dagger in his hand. Mm -hmm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. He's going to run over and uh, actually he's going to use healing spirit and he's going to take the body and it, with, with, with whatever life it has left, he's going to walk it over into his healing spirit so that the moment it enters, uh, it would heal if it has the possibility to. Yep, it starts healing slowly. But okay, okay. Uh, okay, good. Spits out blood. <gasps> You're not done yet. Come on, come on. You're not done yet. No. No. You got people who need you, bud. No. Don't worry. I know, I know, I know. Look, I understand how bad it is. But we got people who need you. <clears throat> and they're saying, You're not done yet. If all goes well, you won't have you won't ever have to fight again, okay? I promise. Thank you. Of course. Now then, I want you. Uh, I, you've been through a lot. If you want to run off this battlefield, go ahead. We've, we've set some of your friends that we found over there. They're healed up a bit. They should be safe. Now, if you want to help, I'll appreciate that. With this guy, he kind of walks over to the one with the broken arm and then like picks him up, carries him over to the healing spirit, and as he enters, uh, let me use... So the arm, you hear like Two of these a really room. bad snap as it snaps back into place. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. kind of disgusting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so both of them? Okay, you? You didn't have too bad of a hit? Your civil's a bad hit. If you want to get out of here, you can. If you would like to help us find more people, I'd appreciate it. We're doing our best to find as many people that have, like, survived and keep them good, okay? Alright. Um, so those two soldiers will help. Um, everyone else is setting up a barricade, and I think, uh, since you guys have collected, I'll say around 20 people, 20 alive guys, mm -hmm. at least, mm -hmm. to set mm -hmm. those low checks, you weren't going to get that far, so 20. That's fair. So 20. Uh, got 20 mm -hmm. live guards. Managed to heal them up enough uh, with the healing kit, cure mm -hmm. wounds, um, any other spell you use. Mm -hmm. That filled them up. And now we're heading back to the castle. You notice Arzor, Verum, and Robert kind of built these walls around the castle with spikes at the very top, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I said to Verum, what if we made some logs out of trees and we made a wall with the logs, maybe put some pointed sticks at, at the top, I could sharpen it with my blade. And so we did that. How did you find any <laughs> people? And it's did like, you, it's not like it's a you, slap, it's a fist. Yeah. You could save it's them, right? It's pressed into your cheek right now. Yeah, we found 20. That's not, yeah. and that's it. He kind of looks at you. That's not mm -hmm. a ton, hand but ones. this isn't like the mm -hmm. first time. Good. I, if I can, I would like to go out, go out there again. Um, mm -hmm. um yeah. So right. Cornell rushes into the room. We don't have time. We're going to talk to the uh, high minister of uh, what is it, Kagosi. Uh, okay, got it. He'll be here in an hour. Mm -hmm. We have to get prepared. He's okay. a um, group as well with him. All goes well. You can intimidate him to a point that uh, hmm. will save our country. He looks around. I have an idea, Man. Robert. Yes. Robert, he's going to he's going to look at Robert. I'm going to have you build a leg out of wood, and I uh, prosthetics out of wood. I'm going to take some moss and I'm going to use uh like wood, iron, all that together. Take some moss, use that all together, and I'm going to hopefully, if I can cast plant growth correctly, we can have some. 
pseudo limbs for now. I don't think they could actually be working permanently, but we can make it look like it. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be a decent scare if we can just take broken limbs and gone limbs and just rebuild them. Maybe. Um. All right. The, uh, okay, so mm -hmm. the, uh, so Cornell kind of looks over. This could work. He's going to cast Plank Grove as well. Or actually. Good. All right. All right. Okay. We'll do that. Sounds good. Okay. Well, what do you guys want to do in the next hour? Um, let's see. I the next hour, what Ocean what is. What should we do? do? What he has been doing. Also, quick question Has everyone been overlooking the 1000 check? The what? Look at the most recent check. Are you just going to ignore that? Check and the uh, ability saves and stuff? Oh. I win, D. I win. I, I win, D. I win. D &D. I win. I win. So, what needs to be done? Yeah, you can, you can make that go to ridiculous amounts. Anyway. Um, okay, let's see. Um, there's still more reinforcements to the walls. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, if you can bring living plants here, we can disguise them and fortify them. Plant growth is a very, very useful spell when it comes to this. Um, uh, yeah, right. we can use that for that. Um, Do you want me to look for plants? Um, yeah, our primary thing that we're working with right now is moss. Mm -hmm. Which is good at covering things. Um, so yeah, along with that, um, I'm going to help Robert here carve some, carve and meld and make some like prosthetic limbs for any of the people missing them. They're not going to work permanently. But Would wood count as a plant that you could it, use? Uh, um, the issue is that it would have to be living wood, which is a tree gotcha. rather than yeah. a plant. But on the bright side, I can carve, and then I can use moss. To fill in mm -hmm. the gaps of everything, which mm -hmm. moss can yeah. pack itself together very tightly. Should I like make a nature check or something? No, it's fine. Um, so, all right. Ocean, you managed to make the limbs for everyone. There's nothing else. I guess the hour has been passed, and you hear the inevitable footsteps marching. Mm hmm. Yeah, with that, with, with making them limbs, he's going to ever look as if it's just another day. Just, just another day. Be calm. It's, this is a terrible day. It is. It absolutely is. But straight up, think about it. You've gone to work all day. You want to go home. You're sick of this. You're tired. Mm -hmm. You're done. None of this is impressive. If it phases you, that's okay. But... This is just another fucking shitty day at work. I, I don't want people. That, that, to you don't need to act. You don't need to feel that. You just need to act that if you can. That's okay. If you can't, that's yeah. also okay. But I, that's how it is. I, I don't you want people to die. Slowly opens the gate. Like mm. Military. This sucks. Military halts. At the mm -hmm. front, at the uh, gate, only the uh, only the uh, high minister and two servants follow. They open the door to the castle. Um, to so there are guards kind of uh, at the very doors, kind of guiding them up. And the high minister is uh, walks up the steps, each footstep. It's another one, kind of. Creating your, creating your stomach, slowly moving downwards. As, doo, doo, mm -hmm. doo. You notice uh, this very tall elven, um, high elven, I should say, man, standing there. As he walks up the steps, gets to the table, pulls up a chair on the other side, opposite of Cornell, and sits down. Puts his one leg over the other. Hello. He looks over. 
Mm. Back to Cornell. Well, it's been a while, Cornell. Yes, it has. Okay, what do you guys do? Um, hmm. Honestly, Ocean is not suited to talking, so he is just... Hmm. In order to make it seem as casual as possible, he is actually taking out some, like, scraps of wood he collected and just using his carving knife and just whittling them. Just act I... natural. And since his face isn't seen, he, he the fucking bead of sweat rolling mm -hmm. down isn't visible. His hands may be a little bit shaky, but aside from that... I don't understand the gravity of the situation. I'm just like, hello. Just kind of nervously. Is anyone here good Even Kel's... Kel. Kel's getting a drink yeah. of uh, liquid courage. All right. Just before... Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. You want to throw a gold in? Yeah. You you open the door to the tavern, like, behind behind your back. You flick a gold, gold coin in. Uh, the... Um, the uh, tavern, the tender, <laughs> keeps his head out. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> and it's like this very tiny cup. Do you drink? Mm hmm. Varen is going to approach Ocean. Yes. Ocean. Yes. Can you remind me of the range at which you can throw fire? Um. Let's see. Wow. Well... About Can you 30 feet. That range to go over walls? Um, use it to go over walls. No, it's a straight line. I can't arc it. I can also just set shit on fire and then make that move however I want. I see your uh, acquaintances don't seem to be very respectful to our conversation. It's less of that, I promise. It's more like. Yes, it's. Uh, I, I swear we're being respectful to the conversation. I'm we, trying we to be it, as but... polite as possible. Please sit down. <laughs> real, real, real quick, I can't remember who's the person who's interrupting me. Uh, that is that that is the minister of the enemy country who is about to fucking lay down our shit, or hopefully we convince him. Kel sits down. Tell me, do you know about the in with from, uh, noble lineage? What? Do you know about the Infirmum lineage? I come to talk about politics, I come to talk about the land. Now, if you excuse me, metal person, I'd like to. I wouldn't concern this politics, I'd concern it as revenge. He looks over at Cornell. Bad sports. <laughs> it's over. Alright, Kel, you kind of sit down there with high charisma now. Uh, proficiency uh, mm -hmm. advantage. Who is this? Half pork, inbred. <clears throat> Who are you? I'm Kel. Kelviz. Now, Kel, do you understand the magnitude of this discussion? Well, you're discussing whether to uh, turn this place into rubble or not. Correct. And so, yes. My own fantasy of a city. Now, of course, you could convince me to not do that, but I would need a very good reason to not kill you all. Uh, he looks around. You don't seem to have too many uh, people here, which means. Can I? Like, can I, like, make a charisma roll or something? For what? To be like, you can't just make checks stop. Out of purpose. Okay, well, I want to be like, stop. Well, that's not. Hey, that's not. A, that fails. Out of this is also a political situation, so. Yeah. You, you have to give a good reason, otherwise, it's just like I don't give a shit. Die. You know. So it's, it's so, iffy. My half orc friend. Uh, how do you know Cornell? I thought Cornell didn't well, encompass himself with lower creatures. Ah, well, we don't know each other, but 
I don't want to see a helpless place get turned into nothingness. So I'm lending a hand. Um, he looks over at you, Cal, and uh, I see you have both fears of war in your eyes. Fighting battles? I have. For what purpose? For sure. For protecting the innocent. And how do you feel when I see a town that could use my army, a hopeless town with no guarding. How do you think I feel when people are killed by monsters simply because their town didn't choose to have any walls or protection? Now, of course, I could rebuild it. So why How do you not feel? this town? Um, hmm. Why shouldn't It doesn't people? seem... See, hey, what's the reason like that you had all these plan. walls anyway? What's the reason that all these people are dead anyway? Did you do this? Many of my men were oh, as well. Do you have a purpose for that? Of course you don't. No. Hmm. All right. Excuse me. It doesn't if seem may... economically okay yeah, to rebuild an entire place when you could just simply strike a deal to take it over. Hmm. That is a good point. Now, Haslau has been under control uh, by our Mir Sen government a couple times over a couple uh, hundred years. Why shouldn't we take it back now? You decided to make it your own state, but who's to say we can't take it back? It's a small city, it's a small state. Uh, you were bimbled by orcs just a couple of months ago. You can't even keep your own state safe. Why if I may say, government keep those orcs are now a pile of red dust. Why is it my yeah. problem? Now, I don't mean to... More monsters on the so... horizon. Why is, why is it not being protected? Mm -hmm. Why are your own people not being protected by the government? You see, my control over over uh, you know Hasla over the past couple hundred years was a fine one it had protection okay so what are you gonna do that's so much better like okay the government fucking sucks I know but what makes your government any better step one yep. clear out every single orc Every single monstrosity in the area, killing them, ridding them of their heads. Step two, build borders across every single city, every single house, allowing people to stay safe from any sort of monstrosities. Third, encourage arcanery, allowing a more prosperous, uh, prosperous battle against uh, certain and more magical monstrosities, I should say. Now, if you should, again, tell me your reason why this isn't a plan. Your Haslau has fallen mm -hmm. ill, almost. Well, my vision for it is clearly mm -hmm. better. He looks over. I will fucking have, I don't I will fucking say, have a vision Arthur. for Haslau. I just want people to stop dying. Excuse me. I think monstrosities are killing them. So your problem. What was it you're going to say? Wait. <laughs> hmm. The simple thing I was going to say is that I will admit your plan sounds like a good one, but theories are not reality, and what you think is good is good from your perspective. I'm not going to say you're wrong. I don't mean to say that, but inherently, what you look at is your view. What I look at is mine. The world ends at your horizons, and as do mine. I hope for both of us to broaden ours. Now, I will admit that your plan does seem pretty solid. I'm not even going to lie. However, I do feel as though a hostile takeover of the entire city negates the point. Not city, but the entire land negates the point, doesn't it? You wish... 
And what of the people that do don't wish to live in your life? I feel as though if they wanted to, well, travel boats, can be difficult. Things called traveling, it will be as if mm-hmm. almost nothing changed within a day. You can leave. You are now just a part of the Mirsan Empire, and be given the rights, the same rights as the Mirsan Empire. Now. That is fair. Mm, go ahead. Go ahead. If you can continue. After a while, we can now start rebuilding mm-hmm. in a way that is more mm-hmm. safe. So you tell me, mm-hmm. your witiful king would rather have millions of people die. Oh, I don't know why. He fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, interesting. Oh, well. Look, I'll be honest. Yeah, what? I don't I like can play game. up like I'm some kind of bureaucrat or like we can actually talk politics. None of us are here for that, right? We don't want people to die. Agreed? He kind of extends his hand. Agreed. Agreed. Like, we don't want people to die in a handshake. Like, you... Correct? Agreed. All right. And he's rather. extending his hand to him for like a handshake. We don't want that. I don't want it either. Exactly. But if I must, now. I obviously will. Yeah. Now then, I will also say, if people wanted to be a part of your empire inherently, wouldn't they go there? Now, travel is difficult, I will admit. However, sticking to the roads, they could enter your city, and I'm sure considering how you seem to believe you would accept them with open arms. Considering Hasla now this has been mm-hmm. taken over by mm-hmm. the Mirsan Empire multiple times, I don't think it will be a big change for them. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, of course, uh, what deal did you have in mind? As we looked over to uh, Kel. You spoke of a... Now, what deal could you possibly propose Well, this place doesn't seem too inherently rich. There's obviously no soldiers. There's not a lot you can gain from it. I'll be honest. Yeah, what's in it for you? Taxes, people. Mm-hmm. Control over nearby states. And, mm-hmm. and how do I know that that's not your real intention? Why? What would... What do you think my real intentions are, then? You explain to me. Yeah, even I'm curious. To rule over the people. No. With That's what he just said. Just Taxes, with states. Just That's what... You want control, don't you? That's you want to control what... more people. I think that's how yeah, it's the works. whole point. Yeah, that's every ruler. Ours are... That's the whole point. Yeah, but... I know. Fuck them. Okay, but... so you don't have a problem with me taking over because it's... This, it's power. I mean, the king currently has power. Why shouldn't I take that power? Yeah, it's the same thing. He, he looks over. Now this deal would. <laughs> maybe if you maybe if you stop fighting over power, you wouldn't put so many people's lives on the line. Hold on. If I stop. Excuse me. If I stopped I... ruling and giving power, then people would murder right. everyone in my city. Without power. <laughs> There's no justice. I would like to say, Cornell. Hmm. I happen to live in Hasla. And how are you using that power right now? Uh, by conquering other lands to make them safer. So, there you go. Uh, yes, Ocean. Um, he's, he's pretty he does right? make fair points that there's more defense there. However, I am but a simple... I literally live in the woods. I'm a druid. It's my shit. Ultimately, I'm more concerned with the forests and the woods and the animals and making sure that if people expand their cities into it, that it's healthy for everyone. Now, this is your kingdom. You were born here. You care about it. Why should it stay how it is? Well, I think we've maintained a... uh... Well enough control. Um, over the past few years, our economic gains have been prosperous. Uh, the orc invasion was nothing but a once in a very long time thing. In fact, under any control, even with walls, we weren't able to stop them. I can attest to this, in fact. 
Shipstead had very good walls, and the orcs oh, just the orcs. rammed with ladders and then climbed them like they were nothing. Walls are nice and good defenses, but when your enemy can decide to hop over them, that doesn't defend you from much else than wild animals. Mm -hmm. But continue. We have been able to maintain mm -hmm. Haslau for many, many, many years uh, this time around. And I think we've been going better and better. Why shouldn't we mm -hmm. keep it? And why do you have the right to destroy our land to build your own? Hmm. He makes yeah, it that's point a good well. point. If you believe that your strength will inherently make everything better, then it's a question of why has this changed hands so many times as well? I'm not going to say that your strength can't improve a city, but also I can't necessarily say that changing hands to you will end up better than sticking with how it is now. Every city could use improvements. That's a fact, and I think we both agree on that. But I feel as though you suddenly taking over the entire kingdom is excessive, and I feel like it would be a waste of your resources as well. In what way? Well, it's quite expensive to spend armies, and it's quite a large lot of well, loss of life. The... Comes with the army is is the same. We take Haslau's army; they work for us now. Hmm. What army, if you're going to conquer the entire place? They're going to be spent fighting you. Well, I've seen what war does. Neither side benefits. I would agree. Yeah. So, I've only seen small scale battles, but. Unfucking deniably. Of Haslau. And there will be no battle. There will, there will be no war. It will be a simple. And yet just. No war. Can you promise that people won't die? I cannot promise people won't die ever. Uh, in what context? In war? Mm -hmm. Fighting these battles? Well, I can promise you I won't be in a war with Haslau because it will be a single state within Mirsen. So, unless Mirsen attacks Mirsen, I don't think we will have a war. That's actually a valid thought. Think about it. There's a number of people within the city that are still loyal to the king, yes, right now. Correct? Or rather, not in the city, but in Haslau itself. Yes. And Haslau has already changed hands between it and Mirsen. Plenty. Yes? Yes, true. So, I believe that if you attempt to conquer it, there's a good chance it'll change hands again via a revolt. And I think that's a valid worry. Now, it's not guaranteed. Nothing is now, guaranteed. Not just in the same way. Whether or not I'm taking over Haslau, maybe who cares if there's going to be... Yeah, well, okay, who cares if there's going to be a... If I should attack Haslau, or I should make a deal here. Those are the two options I'm here for. Who cares if there's going to be a revolt or not? What right, kind of government are you going to set? <laughs> Excuse me, Arzor. I apologize. Thank you for your input. I understand <laughs> that you're very passionate about mitigating the loss of life. However, currently you are not helping. I do appreciate, and I don't want, wish to stifle your thoughts. However, currently, so it is not. Right now, we're on the Infernum family's side, correct? Not so much. Well, we're not on the Infernum family's side. We're on Haslau's side. Well, it's true. What kind of government are you going to set up? You've been that's, stepping around it. How are you going to treat not, people? I don't think you understand how governments and politics works, my friend. Now, if we get back to the deal. Mm -hmm. My proposal. All right. 
Clearly nothing's working. No, no, no. I have an idea. No? My proposal. Okay. Take night out. You have that. And I suggest we use it if you if you care so much about the safety of the people of Hazal, then you take night out and you use it as a trading hub almost. A place a place of perfect transitions. Nida was the hub of trading between this empire and yours. We hand it over. No wars, no fights for it. You have this. We keep Haslau. You guarantee no one's going to revolt in the area because while that is a consideration and possible, people are still loyal to the king. You don't have to worry about the changing hands and spending money on wars or buying armor or fights. You take this. You have this. You have a trading empire, and if you feel the need to, to, to defend people, you have a way to defend people of selling goods, giving resources, and making money. Huh, that's better than I could have thought up. Come on, no whammy. No whammy. That is a 17. 17. He looks at, uh, he looks at some of you. I take from the Northern River in a triangular fashion to the Garnch and back to the West River of Nido. Or sorry, East River of Nido. Let me take a look at the map real quick. Hmm. This is, let me, okay. That so, is interesting. Um, he, so, hmm. uh, Cornell kind of sits up from his chair. We can't give you that. That's a huge portion of Hazla. I would agree. Hmm. Hmm. I have a question. How rigorous are the um, tolls and inspections between crossing from your empire to this one? Uh, there are little to no... There's little to no borders, basically, within these okay. cities. Uh, yeah. Okay. In that case, I would say... Hmm. Taking that much of a pitch out of Haslau, I believe, will be... Unhelpful to you, again. Because, as we've spoken about, it has changed hands a fair amount. And Haslau has a number, or rather, that specific portion of Haslau has a number of uh, separate things that might be able to reject your empire. Such as, uh... Perhaps... You see, if I take this, I'm only really taking Nido and a few smaller villages and, uh, and hamlets. Now you see... Nido is completely empty, which means the major city is given... Again, is you... Again, is yours for the taken without any kind of... Empire or its ways of governing. You wouldn't need to worry about that in the slightest. So one second, because my headset died. Alright. Okay. Oh, anything? Uh, it's uh, not yet. Fuck. He uh, kind of looks over the map. That is as far as I'm willing to go in terms of area. As, as small as I'm, I'm willing to go in terms of area. Hmm. Uh, Cornell kind of looks over towards Ocean and uh, Kel. I... Hmm. Okay, you know what, for instance, how about you take, how about, he kind of hands a, uh, hmm, he doesn't really have much ink on me. Oh, Robert, hand me your uh, painting set, and he kind of takes it from him. He hands him a uh, brush to think, take this, ma draw me a line of what the exact areas that you wish to take. So let me quickly mm -hmm. cleanse the further in. <sighs> right, 
So sorry, it's loading. Um Okay, so he's kind of so he's like swiveling down where he wants. Sorry, it has to load a bit. Um, okay. Oh, hey. Hmm. Okay. Still loading. Hey. Where is the child? Where is the child? Alright. Sniffing tool. Please load. This is not fair. It's, it's and, and you have a child in your house. Oh, so it's 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 a uh, triangle from. I'll do a little too. Send it in chat. Hmm. Let's see. So that's the that's area. A very big portion. That's almost cutting almost. Yeah. Almost half of it. Half of Pazma. That triangle is not nearly half of Pazma. That's like a sixth at most. Everybody's talking about Haslow, and I'm like, why does this guy want Haslow? That's a now, fair point. Deal. You give me. So so sorry. Um, he's gonna he's gonna be like, uh, he wants that portion. Mm -hmm. Right. And Cornell doesn't want that. Doesn't want to give all of that portion to him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What are you guys do? He's saying no smaller than. Mm -hmm. Can't be, okay. Can't be hmm. What if we just say, if you're not gonna compromise, then no land at all for you. That's. Hmm. That's Plan B. <laughs> uh, that's well, the then... that's the worst case scenario. I would say. Yes. All all good deals are made off compromise. Yes. Hmm. hmm. Let's see. What might work best? So, hmm. And it says around the table, I see you are. Hmm. Uh, any short of answers? I'm not in so, short of answers. I'm considering it carefully. That's what's required in politics. Well, make one soon, or I can call my men in here and take it over. Sir? What if I assassinated you right I now before you could that's do that? Very, that's Arzur, a very strong just, language, no. Arzur. What the fuck? Arzur, 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 no. That's, that's some strong-ass language. Arzur, you're banished. Oh. Oh, shit. He's going to cast that well. on you. Make me... Let's see here real quick. So go ahead and make a... I believe it's a constitution save throw. Uh, 
Arzor? Right. I am doing that right now. Not one, baby. Not one. Oh shit, wait a minute. Let me go into like features and traits. Charisma signature. So one, what's your, what's your charisma? Natural one. Mm -hmm. This is filthy, mm -hmm. bro. There's no way you have more than like a 10. Or more than, sorry, more like 20. Okay, charisma saving throw. Let's go. No, you're you got one. You're just gone, Arzor. That was constitution. I thought you said con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, you got one, Arzor. Zero. Third one. Damn. So, suddenly, Arzor disappears from existence. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> no. Just try to bring it back after. Okay. He's mad because I'm right. He's mad because hmm. if you did that, like, if this place would be stormed, then everyone would be killed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Alright, so... Truth be told, while this is a large section of Haslau, Cornell, all that's really here is that he's kind of right, where it's only small villages and hamlets. You aren't truly losing much. He looks over to you. And kind of shakes it is a large like plot of land, but I'd say, or I'd argue personally that land itself is not nearly as as important as the people. Kind of looks over at you, kind of shakes his head a bit, like silently. And then it says, hmm. He is right, well, though. He's fucking right. right. Arzor, you're not here. You can't say anything at all. <laughs> I'm thinking it. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Alright? So, <laughs> he says, I'm afraid I can't give that land away. This much land is quite a bit. Hmm. You know what? Quite I have question. an idea. Yes, Varen. Mm -hmm. What? Yes, Varen? Any remnants of documents, notations, any writings by the Infamon family? Left in their castle. Like what? Bruh. I'm searching uh, mostly for in this room which in accounts. Of people sitting around. So no, there's nothing in this room. Nothing. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. so, oh, that's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to end session. Who's that? who else is ready? Not yet. Um. Hmm. Considering the area, it might be possible that I could help charter the area and take note of the wildlife patterns, and we might be able to cut off a lot of trouble for you as well by, while it will be technically a loss of land, it might also help you control the amount of wildlife in your cities and how much of it is in the area if it's unseemly to you. All right, let me add to that. So you cut off a bit of the land that you want, and we will personally uh, track around the entire thing and make sure, like, we'll map out, you know, strongholds and such. We'll make sure it's safe for the soldiers. We'll make sure, you know, mm -hmm. the places where your barricades are going to go, it'll all be safe. Make we'll map it out. After An this, eighteen. Okay. After this, the uh, potion, uh, the uh, sorry, the uh, the brew uh, goes away, and you no longer have your prison advantage unless you want to get it again. Um, okay, so he's like, fine. How much of it? Hmm. What I'm thinking is, you maintain this part of the river here, since that's not too much of an issue. Um, it also helps you with trading routes. Makes it a bit simpler for you. Um. You cut off, let's see, I want to say a portion of this V-cut here. So let me, let me edit this. Let me edit this picture real quick. Not this, this, this. Okay. Bop. Mm, that maybe. 
Hmm. That or like maybe that. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Let me come over here, throw this down. Either of these two lines, because a lot of these areas, as you said, are not inhabited. So either the bottom line there that's just straight, in that case, you don't really lose much, and we still have the capability of mapping it, or this line here, which again, does not have any particular civilization in it. It is just woodlands. Right. It looks at it. Ooh, okay. Might I add this... as well that you have the mapping skills of a druid along with helping me analyze the wildlife patterns and making sure it's safe. I don't require but... your nature patterns. I'm looking at <coughs> okay. the land to expand it, to expand, and mm -hmm. eventually build more cities. Now, of course, less, man, less land is worse. Mm -hmm. Fair. Yeah. Though I will also add that a lot of the region is mountainous, and while some of it you can definitely build on, it's going to be far more difficult. Just saying, in that sense, but, hmm. We encountered a... Which look yeah, startlingly yeah. unaffected. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my deal. Mm -hmm. I take this portion of Pazla. In trade, your men in here are given to me. Hmm. Hmm. I ask that they have the choice. No choice. For the most part. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's fair, as long as they're not yeah. harmed. Yeah, that's the main thing, so long as they aren't harmed. You can't do that! You said that they would... You said that you would give them a choice. Are there, like, in no, the middle of... You're like, not here. Yeah, like... it's in a different dimension, also. Yeah, you're you not even here. said that they would give them a choice. <laughs> well, I'm thinking it. Yeah. Two flames right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I... Okay. I'd say that's for the best. I, again, personally would like that they have the choice, as... No choice. Honestly, a lot of these men have seen a lot... I'm, I'm not saying this for the sake that we want soldiers, but for the sake that they have seen a lot today. And if they oh, wish to retire from the force, I'd understand personally. But if they... If you need it... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> to shake his hand. Shake on it. No. Okay. Uh, one of the soldiers writes a document up. Sure. No. Okay, he gives it to him. The high minister slowly walks out with his two guards. And Arzor reappears as he gets out of the castle. No. No. <laughs> Okay. It's too late. Over ocean and Kel. <sighs> what? To be fair, what do you mean? I took the only important piece of land around here. Didn't you suggest yeah, and we take the deal? saved you? And. I'll admit, Cornell, I don't mean to say that this was the bad idea, but you are the person that wanted this, and this is your city. I I don't mean to say that this is like you that you made a terrible decision here, but it's just I don't I don't understand. A Truly, has the only Mithlar in Haslau within it. I 
don't know what to say. I don't. I don't know what that is, and I don't... That. I was told to try to mitigate losses here, and that's what I did to my extent. I'm sorry. The only Mithalar is located within that exact region, within the town. Wait. We're allowed to scope out the area first. Wait, don't tell me you guys actually signed Yeah, we're it? giving them the town, otherwise the entire fucking kingdom burns. Yeah, anyway. And also, we specifically now have the job of going through everything and making sure it's safe. Well, no, I didn't want you to do that. Hmm. Hmm. So, um... Did they didn't know? specify that, to my knowledge, unless it was written down. No, but they did said, not... He told you he didn't want you to do any of that. Uh, when you uh, uh. He said he gave you this deal, um, mm -hmm. and taking all the guards, instead of you seeking mm -hmm. all the nature. So. Mm -hmm. So... Well. That Missilar will be a dramatic loss to our kingdom. And if they find it, well, then we have other problems. Bone man. <sighs> to be fair, Cornell, I don't know what that is, nor did I know what that is when I went into this. I understand. I, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I... It's it's okay, man. I understand. You're going through a lot here, and clearly you lost something important. I apologize if I failed you in some way, but I truthfully didn't know. I don't know what that is, and I did know it was there. I expected you to be handling the politics. I'm I lived up in the forest. I'm sorry. I don't give a Nicholas shit about Cornell. I don't give a shit about the king. I don't give a shit about whoever the fuck we just talked to. Now everybody is gonna. Now everything is gonna be fucked. What the fuck? It's an empty town. That's all they have. Look, an empty town and apparently a Mithalar, hmm. but please continue. A Mithalar is a magical crystal from a very, very old era. Now, mm -hmm. of course, many people think uh, the last Mithalars were destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, when, you know, the Netherese Empire was destroyed. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, some countries have found scraps and pieces and sometimes even whole Mithalars, using them to their advantage. Now, Mithalars are able to replicate magic to a very grand scale, I should say. Imagine being able to heal everyone within an area forever. No one will be able to die within there. Or the ability to create a floating city or an invisible city or a a spell that could uh, protect from anything. Now, now that they have this, what are we going to do? They don't know about it yet, but soon, soon. So then we need to secure it before they find yeah. it. Yeah, seemingly. I, okay, tell me the exact spot that you know it is, or at least the vague area. I don't know if you know the exact, uh, just tell me. Maybe not now. We could yeah. be listening. You know, people yeah. could be listening. Uh, all the guards have left the room. It's just you guys and Carnell. Okay. Unless okay. you guys want to make a perception okay. check to look around. Yeah, that. I'm going to make. I'm. I'm. A, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a perception. Go ahead. To like, make sure like there's nothing fucking here. That is a seventeen. Seventeen. Um, you look around, there actually doesn't seem to be anyone here, so. Uh, to your That's point. lucky. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cornell kind of looks over. I gave it to a shepherd. 
south of here. I know him. I saw him. You have? Yes. He, uh, sheep. He yeah. happened to set ablaze an entire flock of sheep. No. Yep, that's him. Okay. Um, is he a wildfire druid? I felt like he was. Uh, no, he's a mage. Okay. Mage. All society, right. Society, training mm -hmm. specifically with the Mithalar. Okay. Uh, so he's a wizard, huh? Mm. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm. An intensely powerful mm -hmm. wizard that that's could kill us out. instantly. That's on the way out of here. Oh, big hell! Huh. path I took, at least. Depending on how we do this, like you came here, we all finish. head out. And on the way, we grab him, and I don't know how big a Mithalar is or how easy it would be to hide, but... Just bring it back to Garnch. I'll have people set up there. We'll take it... And you'll I... be ridden of any governmental burdens. I'm sorry I imposed them on you. I, it's it's okay. I understand. I appreciate I, I appreciate having the direction of a job. I do. But uh, you say this like you're about to leave. And before we do this, I would like some more information. <laughs> you know. Um, for one... It's in a wooden shack do it. Uh, of a home. Okay. He has a flock of sheep. If you ask uh, anyone in Garnch, someone may be possibly able to find him. Uh, yeah. It's within a uh, 10 mile range of Garnch northward. 10 mile range of Garnch north. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Sorry. From Nido. No, not Garnch. From Nido? Okay. So. No. so... On the bright side, considering the fact that their army will have to come this way, we'll have the advantage when it comes to coming this way, right? On our way out, we'll see it. We'll see it sooner. So, um, describe to me the size of Mithalar. Well, this is only a fragment of one. Uh, it's, okay. And he like puts his hand out. It's and then he it's around like you can estimate his hands are maybe about uh, maybe five feet. Okay. I... Do you know if they explode the moment you put them in a bag of holding? I wouldn't recommend putting them in a bag of holding. The magical energy that's, might interfere. And then, as I've seen... That's that fair. Bag of holding sort of... Uh, no. Yeah, explode. <laughs> Danger. Um, okay. So don't put it in there. So that's not... You can't hide it super easy. But, um, paired with... Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. The guardman with uh, that you uh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Lotus, the first guardman, mm -hmm. walks up the steps. Mm -hmm. uh, the high minister has uh, commanded me to tell you to ask you to leave this castle. Kind of Understood. And he walks over to him. I'm sorry that we had to do this. I'm sure you were dedicated to your country. I wanted to ask that he gives you a choice, but he refused. And he kind of raises his hand to shake. Thank you for all of this. I appreciate it. Back. I'm sure you're going to do great. And at the end of the day, you... I'm sure you're going to be helping people. Okay. You lied to him. I didn't lie to anybody. You made a promise, and you I didn't broke lie it. to anyone. I didn't make any promises. I did tell one man that if all goes well, you won't have to fight again. Oh, well. But it wasn't this guy. So, you can... Yep. I guess. You continue uh, further. Uh, you can, sorry, you continue outwards uh, of the castle. All didn't go well, did it? The, uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, Cornell kind of looks at you all. You have done fine. Uh, even if mm -hmm. you didn't manage to save Nido, uh, mm -hmm. you did well. <clears throat> you kind of Thank you. I... I'm sorry about what I had Hazel do. 
Oh, that was you. He kind of smiles. Yeah. Uh, I sent it out to be destroyed a couple uh, weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And we're sorry yeah, it took so he... long. We had yeah, so many then things. Yeah, oh, dear God. near death. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you enter a blood rage. No, I'm... It's, no, it's, I'm... It's and now I'm here, and I can't even be useful. You can be useful, I promise. And then I just... made everything worse. No, Cal. Come here. Yeah, alright. Yay, he's in here. Awaiting endpoint. Hello, Cal. Yes. He kind of pulls it to the side. Kel, what did that battle axe do to you? Just it didn't do anything. Not to my knowledge. I know it gives you almost more power, but it also forces your brain to keep it within your grasps. And I sent it to a dwarf. Who I see. I told Arzor I would send it to him and he would destroy the weapon once and for all. As uh, the history of such weapons um, have been fatal, not to only my country, but others as well. I was afraid if you had it, you know, you could destroy many, many things. I'm afraid someone else has it. Someone even worse. My dwarven, Who would that be? My dwarven uh, blacksmith. I gave it to him for him to destroy. He said he might take a week for him to find a method of destruction. And I haven't heard from him since. I went to check up on him, <laughs> and he's not there. Which means, whatever it did to you, it did to him. Mm. Now, as far as I recall, these sorts of weapons never get pulled away from their original owner. Uh, it's only when they die, it's, that's the only moment where the Great Axe could possibly leave you. But it didn't, so like to tell you to keep on the lookout as uh, if this battle axe remembers you or is somehow able to in any way it will make him come after you I see that's all thank you Kel hey bud no. alright so Finally, uh, the, the castle. And a nod to all of you. Remember, bring it to Garnch. As you're bringing it to Garnch, Garnch. Okay. nine men will take it. You are free from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. He starts drawing on the grass with chalk, kind of painting the grass uh, with multiple symbols in a uh, within a circle. Farewell. Wait, real quick, real quick. One thing. What? One thing. Uh, you said 10 miles north from Garnch. Did you mean Nido, or did you mean 10 miles south from Nido? 10 miles south from Nido. Okay, thank you. Anyway, bye. Have a nice time. He, he <laughs> stands in a circle, whispers some incantations. <sighs> Magic circle disappears, and we're now with him. And that is the end of our session for today. Hey. All right. Hey. <laughs> So if we do I'm cut.